Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and it is a rainy fall day. It literally went from beyond hot temperatures just like a week and a half ago, just like that overnight to like frigid temps, and that's fine by me. I am ready for it, I think a lot of us are. We're ready for it now until we start complaining about it in about another month or so, and we're like, oh, I want it to be spring. You know, but like, look, I love myself a good rainy day, and there is nothing better on a rainy day than when it's nice and chilly and brisk. We're in October. I just watched Hocus Pocus 2. I kind of liked it. I, I, I kind of liked it. I think I liked it better than the first one. Oh my gosh, how many viewers did I just lose? Anyway, um, what better thing is there to have on a day like that than a soup or a stew? And let's do something that's even more exciting. Let's take a hamburger or a cheeseburger, deluxe, and turn it into a stew. You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. You, I'm, I wouldn't fool you like that. I mean, it's Halloween, but this is definitely no trick. It's all treats. Let's go right to the Instant Pot and make some amazing, delicious hamburger stew done so easily with very simple ingredients. And you're going to have to see at the end of this thing, well, you'll see how I react to it, but it is beyond your wildest burger imagination and stew. So let's bust out the Instant Pot just like the Sanderson sisters would bust out their cauldron, and let's do it. Instant Pot Hamburger Stew Deluxe. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing I want to do to make this stew is kick it off by adding three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to the pot, and then I'm gonna give it some heat. And to give it that heat, we're gonna hit the saute button, and then we're gonna make sure we're on the more or high setting, and I'll hit the start button if my model has one, which this one does. If it doesn't, just after a few moments of doing nothing, it will go right into that function. And then after about three minutes of our oil heating up in the pot, I want to add two different veggies. One, which is standard to a burger, is a red onion that I'm going to dice up. The other one that's totally not burger related are carrots. And I'm telling you, it might seem strange at first, but don't forget this is a stew. And they're going to add wonderful sweet flavor to this burger. Trust me, they work very nicely here. A little unconventional, but then again, so is a hamburger stew. I'm going to take about two large carrots. You can take between th two large or three medium ones. Peel them and then slice them into discs about... A quarter of an inch to a, you know, it's or so thick, that's fine. An eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, I, I kind of got a little, just whatever. <laughs> Add it to the pot. And by the way, you can reserve some of this onion for the very end if you want to top it as a garnish on this stew. And we'll saute our veggies for about three minutes in the oil. Okay, and after about three minutes of sauteing, the veggies are going to begin to sweat a bit. This won't be a hamburger stew without some meat. For this, you can use any kind of ground beef you want. You can use lean, you can use not lean, I suppose using less lean meat. Or what I'm using is a meatloaf mixture, which is a mix of ground veal, pork, and beef. Uh, you can also use like uh, plant-based meat, like Beyond or Impossible meat, that's fine. Just try to use about a pound and a half. It totally looks like a brain, doesn't it? It always looks like a brain. All right, let's make that not look like a brain and stir it around in the pots and break this up a bit. And we want to basically make the ground beef here crumble and slightly brown. So we're going to do this for about another three minutes. Okay, and after about three minutes of our meat crumbling up in the pot, it's looking good and it's going to be releasing a lot of its own juices, which is going to add so much extra flavor. We're going to want to add two more things right now. We're going to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, or whatever you want to call it, sauce. Uh, as well as two teaspoons of liquid smoke. Give it a little bit of that nice smoky flavor. So now we're just going to let this simmer for about another minute so our liquid smoke and our Worcestershire Shire Wheel of Fortune sauce works out really well here. Mixing in nicely with the meats. Okay, now it's time to move on to the liquids. I want to add in two and a half cups of beef broth. Two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced tomatoes with their juices. You can use just the regular kind, the low sodium kind, no sodium added. Some of them have like a basil oregano thing if you want to add that, that's fine. Now this is where some people are going to be like, what? Are you kidding me? But trust me on this, I don't steer you wrong with flavors, it's all going to be perfect. You don't have a burger without some ketchup. I, I know, trust me, stop wincing right now if you're one of those folks. A quarter of a cup. Put that in there. Yes, yes, yes. I do love to add ketchup to this soup, and it works beautifully. Trust me. Try my gumbo also, by the way. Wink, wink. As well as two tablespoons of either light or dark brown sugar. I'm using dark, but you can use whatever you got. By the way, if you ever open a thing of brown sugar up, 
seal the bag again, and then put it in your fridge. It won't turn into like a concrete brick that way. Stir everything up in the pot nicely right now. All right, so we have all this wonderful flavor going on in here already, and we're just gonna pressure cook it at this stage, and then we're gonna put our very final basic finishing touches when it's done. All right, I'm gonna secure my lid, make sure that I'm in the sealing position. Okay, and now we're gonna to switch to pressure cook, hit that cancel button, then hit the pressure cook or manual button depending on your model, and I wanna go for 10 minutes at high pressure, and that's it, that's it, 10 minutes. And now that we're done pressure cooking, we'll perform a quick release. And the pin just drops, so we're gonna take the lid off the pot, and there we go. All right, so we have our final finishing touches here, and that's going to involve a six ounce can of tomato paste. Now, you can get, the, like I said, the regular kind before with the diced tomatoes, or you can get a kind with basil, oregano, garlic, all that stuff. You, I'm, I got the little extra flavor booster. You don't have to do that. But isn't it so annoying getting tomato paste out of a can? I know they sell like squeeze bags of it now, but I'm gonna give you a little tip. So I've already taken a can opener and taken one side off, and I'm gonna do the same with the other, all right? Boom, boom, boom. All right, so both ends are open, and this one I still have the lid on top. All you gotta do now is just literally press. Press with a spoon, with anything, and look at this, directly in, no wasting of anything. Yes, I do have some lid on there, and I wanna get that out, of course, but no wasting of the tomato paste that way. It's so annoying to get out of that can otherwise, right? Love that tip. Look at that, waste not, want not. This is optional, but I like to have a cheeseburger. So you can add up to two cups of a shredded cheddar cheese if you want. You don't have to. You can keep it dairy free, but I'm adding it. Also optional are some pickles, because I love pickles on my burger, and it's gonna be delicious in this soup. So I just grabbed like this jar. I love Klausen, by the way. It's usually in the refrigerated section of your market. It should be anyway. Um, I got the sandwich slice kind, which look like this. This is like sticks almost, you see that? They make it so easy to cut and dice. So I took a bunch of the pickles out of here, most of them, and this is a 20 ounce jar, and I diced them up into about a cup's worth, all right? You don't have to add this, but I like to add it. I'm gonna put it in there, yum. The cheese and the pickles are optional. And to add a little extra tang, about a quarter of a cup of those pickle juices. Don't tell me you didn't ever sip pickle juice out of the jar because I totally did and they make for a great martini. Now I'm gonna stir everything around in the pot. The tomato paste is gonna meld in from the heat as well as the cheese. Okay, and after stirring everything up nicely in there, yum, I'm gonna add in my final ingredient which is going to be one tablespoon of Cajun Creole or Louisiana seasoning. I use Tony Shachery's Creole seasoning or you can use seasoned salt. And I add that at the very end because it gives it that final flavor punch there. It's gonna be the perfect balance of sweet and savory, this stew. Mmm. Now I'm gonna ladle some of this into a bowl. All right, looking lovely. And then you can feel free to top it off with additional pickles if you want. Mmm. Maybe a few raw red onion on there if you want as well. Nice, I love actually a raw red onion. It's delicious and salad for me as well. And if you went for the cheese, feel free to add some of that in there as well. Why not? And there we have it. Let's try this out. And oh boy, hamburger stew. Look at the, let's just do it. Here we go, got a little bit of everything here. This is the perfect balance of sweet and savory, which is exactly how I like my burgers. Oh, the pickle juice adds a nice touch to this. Mm. I'm telling you, the ketchup mixed in with the broth, when it pressure cooks, it becomes liquid. And it just adds this rich layer of deliciousness to everything. Then you have the savory of the Worcestershire and the liquid smoke and the uh, pickle juice, and you have that offset with the sweetness of the ketchup and the brown sugar. It is just glorious. Mmm. Mmm. It is truly a hamburger stew. Uh, the carrots are perfect as well. It's the perfect consistency. They're nice and soft to the bite, but they definitely will hold their form. They won't become mush here. And it's just, it's just, mmm. Mm. 
I mean, you got your pickles, you got your red onions, you got your burger meat, you got your ketchup. Uh, you got the whole representation of the burger, uh, except for the lettuce, which I guess we've replaced with the carrots. In this situation, that's how you should do it. Trust me on this. Guys, this is absolutely delicious. It is comfort in a bowl, that is for sure. And it is perfect this time of year. If you love burgers, if your kids love burgers, this is gonna be a super friendly meal. And if you're not into the pickles, if you don't want the cheese, you wanna keep it dairy free, leave it out. That's not a problem, it's totally fine. But if you want to go all out and make it deluxe, make it deluxe. Mm. If you enjoy these recipes, you can check out all my recipes at PressureLowCooking.com that I put online. But also, I've written not one, the orange one, not two, the lighter blue one, not three, the yellow Simple Comforts book, but four, which is the green book coming out in April of 2023, the Super Shortcut Instant Pot. The quickest, easiest recipes ever for an Instant Pot that are gonna be rich and full of flavor, just like this. And there's many recipes that are exclusive to these books. Let me give you a little tour of these books real quick. Do you see this? Every single recipe in these books has color step-by-step -step photos showing you what you should do for every step, as well as a final shot of what every single recipe will look like. There's a timing bar, so there's no guessing how long every recipe will take some from literally start to finish. So, I got you covered. Get the books anywhere books are sold, online, in bookstores, support local, whatever you want to get your books from. And you can follow me on all the social channels on uh, facebook.com slash pressurelowcooking and at pressurelowcooking on YouTube, uh, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, the next time you're craving a soup and you want a burger and you don't want to do it with the fries, well, make some hamburger stew and it'll also be easier on the thighs. Trust me. Enjoy. It is outrageously delicious. So good.